Hello and welcome! Oh, unmute yourself, Bridget. Happy Midweek Muse, Marcus! Don't you feel like we need like a doll or something? Or crack it in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like her headdress, like maybe uh, something Halloween-ish. <laughs> right? That's what I feel like. Oh, I just love watching those replays. I do too. Show. Actually, I was smiling the whole time in the intro because I just love our song and our our little group and our little set we created. But right, I miss you, Kraken. Oh. But I miss you too, Caroline. Feels I like know. it's been like a month. It really does, but it ha has only been a week. A week, right? Right, a <laughs> week. Way longer. <laughs> it's been a week. Hey, I saw you had some storms. Was we it did. by you? We oh, got very God. lucky. Yeah, it like that was literally. Crazy. Like we were here and the storm <laughs> went right past us. We got wow. very lucky. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are. Mm -hmm. because we, you got, had, we got the hail. Did you I see that? You had that giant hail. We didn't get any of that. We got very lucky. Now we did get some wind and some branches. Yeah. And then we did get like just, I don't want to say wind damage, but you know, like casualties of things that fell in the garden. But I took a lot right. of it down. Yeah. I took a lot of my Easter down because they were like, it could be 90 mile an hour winds. Oh my gosh. Like, really? Yeah, let's bring some Easter stuff down because it, it would be gone. <laughs> wow. That's Love crazy. Yeah. yeah, but we were, you know, we're very blessed. And I, I'm praying for any, there's a lot of people that were affected by that. Like mm -hmm. praying for everybody out there. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's a little warmer and nicer by you now. After that. It's really warm. Let me look at the temperature. You guys, I have a hat on today. <laughs> I love it. It's so blingy. <laughs> I got some things to share with you today that are kind of funny because, you know, Caroline, uh, we bonded last year over um, April Fool's Day. Yes. Um, we got to clown around a little bit, but um, let's see what our, we're at like 73. Oh, that's not bad because we're yeah. 80 in the 80s here, except it's so humid. It's hard to breathe, I think, yeah. outside. Because I was working with Kraken, um, I was working with Kraken the other day, and I was like, oh, it's so hard to breathe. It's so humid. Yeah, that's a little too much too soon. Our high was um, 74, but we had some, we, were, we still have some thunderstorms um, about to start. So <laughs> it's just oh. crazy. But then we're going to cool off again, and then it's looking better, though. It's spring. April showers bring May flowers. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, my flowers are actually coming up. I was thinking about um, digging up one of my lilies for you. Really? That would yeah, be awesome. One of the, um, the one I have, I don't know how old that plant is, but last year there was only one head that came out of the mm -hmm. lily. Now mm -hmm. there, one stalk has three or four heads, which I've never yeah, seen before. Yeah. Your lilies, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll spread. Oh, what color is it? Uh, it's like a lavender. Oh. <gasps> like a really, really yeah it's a really deep lavender when it first blooms and then later um because it's over by you it'll probably be a deeper lavender but oh. over here when it first blooms it's very deep lavender mm -hmm. and then as the time goes on like the week goes on it'll get a lighter lighter bit yeah it'll okay. direct sun over here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but by you guys it'll probably be perfect now is it a day lily or what kind of lily do you know no, I don't. It's okay. There's so what many. Do you mean by, what do you mean by day lily? Uh, a day lily will just bloom for one day. Um, It'll be spent and then each day. That's okay. There's so many. Yeah, they, yeah, it does. But then it 
it goes, it, it hibernates and then it opens back up in the morning. Okay, yeah. Or maybe so some of them open in the day. Yeah. Some varieties are just for a day and then maybe some just open in the day. I don't know. But then when you get all these things at the them, greenhouse, all these wonderful things. Once you get a whole have of them, they'll just bloom like crazy. Oh, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I have my first um, bloom. Uh, one of my daffodils started to open yesterday. It's still not open. And then surprise, all of a sudden I found these little baby, almost, they're almost roughly little variety of daffodils. They were in full bloom to, when I came home. Cute. Yeah. It's getting well, exciting good. now. Yes. <laughs> It's always nice to see uh, spring flowers pop up. For sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's beautiful where um, you are at the greenhouse. It, it is. And you guys should see my hair earlier. I was telling Carolyn I'm going to go home and clean up because it was so <laughs> hot and humid inside. And it depends on where you're at with what plant. And then if you're by the door, it's cooler. It was kind of a breezier. But if you go into some of the greenhouses, it's really hot. So my hair was definitely big. Oh, and so that's a good thing. It's like a sauna too then. Yeah, so I brought this. I actually have something to sell today, and that what, you're going to kind of giggle. That's why I brought it because that's kind of how my hair looked before. <laughs> before. Oh, no. It's funny, but it's coming, coming in the sale. But I have something to share with you. What? This is what we bonded over last year. I've been saving this for us for today. Let me get ready. Let's see. <gasps> I remember that. Oh, my goodness. There's no place like home. I remember last year I said, can I show you the red shoes that I'm going to wear to the um, Oz Gala? And I showed, I just picked a random pair of red shoes. They were clown shoes. Yes. We did a sale last April Fool's Day and we're yeah. kind of borderline that. But these, these, these are the door. I thought you would get a kick out of these. Yes. So I've been saving my redone for our special April sale. You guys have to rewatch that. Bridget and I did a live <laughs> sale and she brought a picture of some clown shoes and she, I really thought she was going to wear these to a gala. <laughs> and no, she meant, she meant it, it as a joke and I didn't get her dad joked back then. So yeah, we were kind of just getting to know each other and I didn't really know your sense of humor, but I'm like, I got to play with her a little. I'm like, do you like, they were literally like giant clown shoes. And I'm like, do you like my shoes for the gala? And you're like, they're so cute. And I'm like, April Fool. <laughs> and ever since then, I've always been looking for clown shoes for Bridget. You yeah. know? <laughs> now we like to clown around. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, we so do. we kind of celebrated a year together. Yeah. But this is um, the mug. And then I actually got, I found one. Mm -hmm. And I actually was going to give this to my BFF because we went to the gala last year. And I put it away for her. Mm -hmm. And then, um... She found some, so we have too many. <laughs> so everybody oh. got. Them. I'm oh, just gonna my, drink, my, you know, I love my Ray Duns. <laughs> so I'll be sipping water today with y'all. But should we kind of let people know? Um, we're not gonna be si sipping sweet tea next week, right out the gate. We should mm -hmm. let folks know. I'm not gonna be doing my sweet tea Tuesday next week due to my new schedule one. Um, but more importantly, it's it's my birthday week so i'm taking the week off i'm taking time off uh you know because it's around easter too and we're busy and I, my husband's like i want to go to dinner with you we want to go with the kids on another night i got friends friends saying let's go to home goods let's go to you know uh some april friends of mine we always go to olive garden she's like we got to do olive garden so i'm taking the week off i don't blame you <laughs> and then also we are taking a midweek news off mm -hmm. next week too because there's so much going on mm -hmm. and stuff like that and plus i want bridget to relax and then jordan <laughs> too so and plus it'll give me time to craft and make inventory yeah yeah so, you need a break too you need a break too yeah and you have you have another sale tomorrow after this um premieres yes it's technically going to be tomorrow but when this premiere uh later tonight wednesday what do you got going on I will be selling with Leanne, Crafty Kitty Vintage. Uh, Leanne, that'll be at uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you guys are available, come by and stop by. You guys should know who Crafty mm -hmm. Kitty Vinti yeah. Vintage is. I'll try to drop her link um, in the live chat of, those, of mm -hmm. this premiere. And then um, I'll also put it in the comments below. So come by and check out that sale with us because it'll be fun. It'll be my first time selling with Leanne, you're but I um, love it. She's yeah. so fun. You guys are going to, I'm, I'm going to tune into that. I'll, I'll tune in and watch. I should be home by then. So and Bridget just had a sale with her too. Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was yeah. Fun. I hope to do more too. Um, just 
kind of just kind of a crazy schedule right now. Mm -hmm. But if I get a break tomorrow when I'm at the greenhouse or if I get lunchtime, depending on the, you know, their need for me, I may try to come into the um, premiere if I can, but I can't promise, but I'll, I'll try. Yeah. I'll do my best. <laughs> but um, please ask any questions if you guys have any questions mm -hmm. during the premiere too, because this is a time where we get to chat with you. I'll be in the premiere with you guys while, while you guys are watching this live. That's my dad. My dad. <laughs> so <Okay>. sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Um, but this is a pre-recorded video just to let you guys know. But um, I'll be live in the chat with you guys to answer any questions that you guys may have too as well. Okay. And then be feel free to claim any items as well. Was there anything else, Bridget, before I bring up the logistics? No, I think that's everything. Um, I, I, I am asking for a little bit more time to ship. Um, I know we, we're kind of changing the cover photo. Um, this is just a temporary thing only because it's the holiday weekend coming up. The kids have Good Friday off and then they have Easter Monday off or hostessing Easter. So I'm going to need extra time for shipping. I'm just going to put that out there. I needed extra time this week. It was so busy. The boxes were so big. It took me a little extra time, but yeah, I'm trying my best doing both of these projects, guys. But we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it work. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. So let me share my screen and tell you guys how it works. So thank you guys for coming to our midweek muse sale. This is our weekly sale that we usually have mm -hmm. uh, every week on Wednesdays. Oops. Where did my tab go? Give me one second. Yeah, it's okay. It's a little bit different doing it this way. Oh, here we go. All right. So here is the logistics. Just to let you guys know, here's how it works. So how it works is, um, here it is. All buyers must be registered in blue. Uh, at pin to the top of the chat, I will have the job form there and if you um are not comfortable in filling out the jot form that is okay you can be more than welcome to email us but if you don't fill out the jot form and we don't have your contact information it's a little bit difficult to send you the items um if you are not registered that's okay you could just sit and watch with us too as well we welcome lurkers too as well um in order for you to claim an item, though, in this live sale that Bridget and I have, Bridget uses uh, letters a B through 1 through 10 or something. So to claim Bridget's items today, you can type in B1, B2, B3 to claim the items, and the first person in that chat will claim that item. And I will put the sold item in the chat, too, as well. Okay, and then I use letters A through Z. Uh, to claim my items and everything today in the sale because it's pre-recorded it's a buy it now so it's just one set price all right for any shipping information what we do is I ship from Texas uh, Bridget ships from Illinois we ship within the US and Canada uh, if you guys have any questions about shipping please ask shipping rates are based on weight and destination please remember if you gift an item to someone that you do have to pay for shipping uh, we don't take the cost on that. And then contact your local postal service if you have any shipping issues. And the reason why we tell you to contact the local postal, postal service or the um, USPS or whoever it gets shipped to is because sometimes when it's out of our hands, we can't contact the carrier. We can try to contact the carrier. Um, like, for instance, uh, there was a time where I tried to contact the carrier because the item was misdirected and it wasn't shipped the right it didn't go to the right place and I tried to contact the carrier, but they wanted the person that bought the item to actually contact the carrier to retrieve the yeah. item. So there was a little difficulties. I tried to do the best that I could, but mm -hmm. the person that usually is actually receiving it is the better person to uh, contact mm -hmm. uh, the postal service or any uh, USPS or whatever we use, but we use pirate ship to get you guys the best shipping as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and as for invoicing, I will invoice on Fridays after my last sale of the week, uh, unless you ask me to hold your items or if you had an open box. And then Bridget will invoice on Sundays and pack orders on Sundays too. So it's not, it's not this Sunday, not Easter Sunday. Yes, yes. I'll get it out sometime after the weekend just so y'all know. Wait, then is the post office post office should be open though on Monday, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should be. All right. Um, items may be used or in pre-owned condition. It 
And if there's any caveats with the items, we'll probably, we'll try to let you guys know. And everything is sold as is. So if you guys have any questions about the items, mm -hmm. or if you would like us to bring um, any items to a future sale, please let us know too. Uh, we will gladly do that too. Or if you're watching this in the replay and you would like to ask us a question or have us bring something, just put it in the comment below. And I will make sure to reach out to mm -hmm. uh, Bridget or any other resellers that I may know that may even have the items too as well. All right, so hope you guys have fun, and hopefully we'll have fun in the chats. All right, let me just pull up my banners. Oops, not that one. <laughs> all right. Is there anything else I was missing, Bridget, in that? No, oh, you covered it all. You did great. Okay. Good let job, me just, Thank you. Let mm -hmm. me just switch my camera around real all quick. Right. Then there we go. Let me just turn on this other light. Okay. Let me just adjust this so you guys can see everything. Don't mind my hot mess in the back. Ooh. Will it show it? Oh, maybe Wait, not. Do I see a clown in the background? That's not really. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the closest <laughs> thing to a clown. No, you know what it is? It's Ronald McDonald. That's what it looks like. It's a little Ronald McDonald on a little spaceship. Isn't it cute? <laughs> How old is that? Uh, is that vintage? I don't think it's that old. Oh, I've I don't know. Uh, it is from 2010. Oh, it's getting older already. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the clown. I couldn't that's find any clown. clowns. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Because you know how uh, we like the clown around. We do. Let me just turn. Uh, all right. And hopefully the music isn't too loud. All right. So to claim my items, you just put the letter in the chat. So the first item that I have available is, this is going to be choice. So it's a book book necklace or a printed uh, animal print necklace. So the one on the bottom is a purple book with a gemstone in it. And these necklaces are new cords. They're about 18 inches long. <laughs> and this one's more like a uh, animal print. It's an acrylic donut. And then the stone in the middle, I don't know what that stone is, but I know it's a natural stone. Mm-hmm. And these are only nine dollars each and they have oh so the book necklace is 18 inches long it has a lobster class right there and this is made with love the one that has the donut is actually longer and you tie you can tie the cord are you sure the music isn't too loud Bridget yeah it's it's good okay so are the beads um, a stone too, above uh, that center stone one? Uh-huh. Okay. The two beads on top and the center stone are, are like a stone, a natural stone. And then the donut is like an acrylic animal print. Mm-hmm. And I only made one. Okay. And then the book one is just a like a plastic acrylic charm. Mm -hmm. But I Does thought it was really fun. It is. Does the book open? No, I wish it did. Okay. It's okay. And so can we see the class on the book one? Is that the one that you said you ties? No, the book one is a lobster class. Oh, okay. So this one, it looks like that. And that's a beautiful heart on there, your little... Yeah, the little heart says made with love. I know you guys can't really see it that well. You can if you back it up just a little bit, I think. Yeah, you can see it. So it says made with love. Okay. So that's the book one. That's what mm -hmm. it looks like. And it's like a lavender. Yeah. Mm. Oh, is the stone pinkish? Yeah, it's like a champagne kind of yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, it's really very um pastel. -y. It's cute. And if you really want to, and you can write on it, you can, I'm sure you can write someone's name on the back or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the other one, the class is a tie. 
and you can tie it like a bow kind of like that oh now i get it was hard to tell when they were together and now i see it yeah. yeah that's sweet i've not seen you make one like that that's kind of like a new style yeah and it's really lightweight and I, the reason why i made this donut one is because the donut is big enough where you could put your glasses in it oh i like that yeah or if you really wanted to you could take the ties on the back of this and you could tie it to your glasses good idea you could tie the yeah tie the ties to your glasses so you don't lose your glasses too i need new glasses so bad i need to make an appointment oh i know what you mean i've been saying it for like the last year <laughs> I just it's need to do it. And just, there's never time. Yeah. Well, it, <laughs> you know, it, it usually time. doesn't take that long, Bridget, when you go I in. I know. It's just there's so many other things, you know? Yeah. But there's always the appointments. There's always something getting in the way, but I need to. I need to. You'll have fun picking out a new pair. I I will. And then I'll, I'll be able to see all the um, labels so much better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you're interested in either one of those, put in letter A if you want the book, or if you want the animal print, just put in letter A, animal. All right, or if you would like both. All right, what do I have? All right, the next item I have are Disney keychains. So I dropped the price down just a little bit just to get rid of my inventory mm -hmm. that I had. These are handmade uh, Disney figurines that I had. They are called Dorables, and all I did was drill a hole in them and put a little charm on it. So the first character is from Red Panda, the little angry girl. Mm -hmm. Can you pull them back just a little bit? Uh, yeah, hang on. Uh, I gotta get in a different position. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Are you, like, cracking now, like, trying to reach around everything? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the first one, this one's red. This one's from Red Panda. One of the friends from Red Panda. Mm -hmm. Okay, then she's another friend. She's from Red Panda also. You're really, the angle you're at right now is so good. Like the the distance, I should say. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's got yeah. little glasses. And speaking of glasses, those are cute. Isn't she? And she has a little bear with her. Oh, I see it. There's the back. I love her hair. Look at her hair. Oh it's all yeah. Braided. And then this one is a fairy from Tinkerbell. She has a little spoon. Oh yeah. I don't know why. No. Just, she's a little funny with the spoon. So maybe she's, she's a booty like you. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the golden Mickey. This mm -hmm. one was an anniversary Mickey. Oh. And they're these doorbells, their eyes kinda have a shimmer to it. I can see that. Mm-hmm. So I like how all the chains are like a pastel -y color. Thanks. So if you're interested in these, the Mickey's letter G. The fairy is letter H. Letter H. And then the red panda girl, she's letter I. The one with the glasses. And then the other one's letter F mm -hmm. on the end. The angry one. Yeah, she actually yeah, does look angry. <laughs> yeah, doesn't she? She's like, I got some attitude for you. <laughs> <laughs> They're all cute. They all got their own personality. Yeah. I'm so into Disney right now since my son went. I know, right? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna plan one, a trip. I think all of us. Oh, you guys. I'm wanting to go at, at Christmas. Really yeah. bad. I want to see like it all because you know what a Christmas junkie I am. I want to see Disney at Christmas. Oh, oh I bet you would be gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is going to be my first item. This is going to be B1. It's going to be $18. And it's this adorable vintage elf planter. <laughs> I thought it was so kind of boho if you're really into like, uh, you know, kind of like, um, kind of like the gnomes, but it's like a little elf. And it's standing by this, like, it's like a hollow tree, if you will, like a stump. It's a real sharp green. I love green pottery. I'm very, I'm very drawn to it. And I picked, I need to stop picking them up. <laughs> I picked them up so much. I have one shelf at one of my antique booths that's just covered in this green pottery. It's made so nice. And I, I love planting. I love lives. I love anything that you can plant with bulbs and things this time of year. 
Um, so this is just going to be for the planter only, but I'm demonstrating this is going to be coming up. This is going to be our, our second item in the round. Uh, but it's this really charming, like chocolatey, like brown almost. It's in pristine condition. It's like a stump of a tree with some greenery. And if you look, <laughs> there's like a little retro mushroom here. Oh, how cute. He's leaning on it. Look at his little belly. <laughs> Oh, that's what he's leaning. Yeah, it's like it looks like. Let's see, that's that's gotta be. Yeah, that's his tummy. So it looks like his arms are on the back. He's leaning against the tree. Look at his cute little face and his eyebrows, and he's got like almost like a red little cap on. It's really a sweet piece. I'm not sure the maker. Um, not sure the maker. Mm, could be Copley. I didn't really look it up. I haven't had time for these things. How many times did we talk about doing this pre-recorded, Carol? We were but, glad to just get this done today. <laughs> but this, when you had it displayed in your kitchen, if you guys don't follow Bridget on Instagram, you guys need <laughs> to follow her. She had it in the background in her kitchen, and it was gorgeous. Yeah, it's a lot cuter in person than it's because it's kind of like getting blown out a little bit. But I did style it with these faux. So if you're interested in B1, it's $18. It's a vintage L planter. But I did source these last week. I have a set of these in our guest um, bathroom, and they're almost identical. And I, I just love these just to spruce up because, you know, the lives don't last too long. Yeah. Um, I'm very specific about what color I put in and I like to coordinate like this. I thought it was just, I'm like, Oh, that looks so good with this little hat with the greens and that kind of like pinkish, like red. And so in the guest bathroom on the back of the commode for Easter, I was thrifting and I found it's from the twenties, a, a tiny, tiny little trophy, like a trophy cup, uh -huh. great, like monogrammed, if you will. And I just placed some of these in there and I just love that look. So if you're interested in the whole set, you can get the whole set for an additional $10 to be 28 for the whole set. B2 is just going to be the faux. And I did bend them to fit, but these are wired. You can redo it. They look real. You don't have to water them. You don't, you know. <laughs> but it does have this little bit of raffia here. And there are nine. I put a nine there because there are nine little um, tulip heads on here. That's, they're so pretty. Little, yeah. It's all done. <laughs> right? Maintenance free if you're interested. But that's my round. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That was fast. Yeah, it was a, kind of like a combo one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What do I have next for you guys? All right. So the next item I have is a handmade doily. I did not make this. I'm not that fancy yet. But I would love to learn how to crochet this one day. Beautiful. So this one is just a beautiful shaped uh, doily and of course I didn't bring the tape measure, but it's as big as your head. I was going to say, put your hand on it. It's as big as your hand. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> right. well at least oh. it kind of gives us an idea, right? <laughs> so it's a good size though. It's beautiful. Look, look at the design in it. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. It's in excellent condition. It's more like a white ivory kind of color. Okay. Not too ivory, but it's it's white ivory. But the pattern is made very well. And it's only $5. You just put letter C in the chat if you're interested. I don't know about you, Bridget, but growing up, we used to use these type of doilies on the sofa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we oh, put them on, ants, yes. on the armrest, on the headrest. <laughs> Yeah, under everything, like even under the glass on the coffee table. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was on everything. Well, a lot of that style's coming back too. Those, Isn't you know, really? vintage, yeah, cottage core, um, Victorian. So pretty. So if anyone wants to craft with them, what do you craft? What do you make with? Make flowers out of them. Get out! You never showed no. me that. Yeah, I've sold them all. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, and I would put ribbons and I would make like flower ribbon, you know, like, you know, flowers on a ribbon inside. I would glue little pearls in them um, and oh, I love it. You can make flowers with it? I have to glue uh -huh. it. Yeah. I did I'll not. I'll share pictures with you sometime. 
That and your decoupage. I want to see your decoupaging too. All these projects. I need to get my son still out of my office. I can have my craft table back. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> it's been a process. All right. If anyone's interested in that, put letter C in the chat and it'll be yours for $5. All right. So the next item I have, this one is a, oh, uh, this one's going to be choice. There's two items. There's a little mini chair. <laughs> This one's hand carved. This chair I bought many years ago. It was bought by a place that did fair trade and actually paid their workers real wages. So it's just a little, um, I don't know what kind of wood it is. It's just a really light wood chair. Mm -hmm. It's a cute little wood chair that was handmade by someone. And I'm pretty sure they only made one. It looks like that. I like the the graphic with the black how it's painted like that mm -hmm. so it just painted and you can see the impression inside that's the carved mm -hmm. area it's an excellent thing. It's really clean and super lightweight it's not heavy at all so if you're interested in this it's just six dollars put in letter d and you can put chair or you could get this fun department 56 tree if you're interested in this and the arms are bendable and there's a sticker department 56 Ooh. still trying to learn the camera yeah you're doing a good job well okay so the doily looks like an area rug that looks so cute with the chair i know right i didn't even plan it yeah bonnie would probably love this <laughs> like her small little uh, you know, um, things your little <laughs> Your little thingies in it. I don't know. I don't have anything miniature. Mm -hmm. well, I have a little mushroom. Oops. Never mind. It's at, it looks like it's at an angle. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone's interested, you could put in tree for $6 or you could put in chair. You know, that would be a cute chair for, I always look for little things like that for off on the shelf. Not that my kids do that anymore, but. I used to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little props. It's cute. I know. I love little things. Who doesn't like little things, mm -hmm. right? My yes. husband. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bridget. That was my two. All right. Very nice. Back to you. Okay. Up next, I'm just demonstrating again. I'm reusing the tulip that stretched them out. Um, but this is going to be B3. It's going to be $14. This is a dusty pink. It almost looks like um, carnival glass pink. Um, I don't know if it's that old. I, I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't know. I'm not an expert in any of these things. I never claim to be an expert, but I know good stuff when I see it. And I think it's like a stretch glass, possibly a swung. I think it might be stretch. But just to kind of demonstrate, okay, what you can see here just before we I love to just cut fresh flowers and put them in here, but I'm just telling you I stretch it out so you can bend these. You can put them in the longer um, planters, the shorter planter that I showed earlier, but it's just such a pretty color. I'm going to go this way. It's just this dusty, like mauve -y pink, and it's got all these, like this fluting, and then it looks like it's possibly, I think it's stretched. I don't think this is a true swung base, but I kind of, you know, it kind of gives you those vibes. So I just put that in there. Very pretty. I'm not seeing a maker mark or anything like that. It's just such a pretty, pretty color. If you collect some of the pink um, depression glass for your collection, this would be gorgeous with tulips in here, live ones, or even like a peony, some peonies in here. So this is approximately the longest like um, swung that I see in here is almost 11 inches. It's almost 11 inches, like with this longest, highest one here. Look at the mouth on there. This would be pretty with the lilies that you mentioned too. Yes, that would be. I love the. So, is it more like a champagne pink or? Um, I would say yeah, yeah. It's everyone's interpretation of it, but um, it's not real peachy. It's more pink, but it's like a dusty pink. I can't explain it. <laughs> like not not the not the depression dinnerware kind of pink, right? It is. Yeah. Oh, oh. Very depression glass like, yeah. 
Oh, okay. This would be gorgeous if you collect that. But just such a sweet piece. It's in for sink dish. You know, it, it's been used. It's a little, you know, cloudy in there. I'll, I'll always try to clean it up a little bit more um, just because it's been in my inventory. But I thought that was a great piece. So um, $14 for the Dusty Pink Stretch Glass. It is possibly a swung vase. I didn't want it to be. I'm no expert, but I thought it was a beauty. Beauty. I think I got this from the Goodwill. <laughs> Bridget, show the bottom of it real quick again. Yeah, sure. No, is there any markings on the bottom? No, there's any no. markings. No. Okay. Not sure the age. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, it must be newer. This could this could be even I don't seem like a flaw here. I don't know. I think it's from the making. It could be the uh, oh, like half seam here. Could be it could it yeah, could definitely. be from the mold. You know how they it's form it? Amazing. Yeah. I thought it was beauty. It's beautiful. I was interested. And look how beautiful that is. I can't wait for the peonies to be in bloom. We're like a month out. A month or so out. Can't wait. Those are some of my favorites. Oh, what color peony, peonies do you have? All colors. <laughs> <gasps> really? Hot pinks, light pinks. I gave my dad my yellow one. Oh, um, Wow. A lot of whites, some whites with pinks inside. I have, I, have, I think, close to a dozen varieties, maybe. Wow. Yeah. Okay, since we're on the pink ground, this will be next. B4, this is going to be $14. It is the Vintage Pink Rose Footed Egg Cup. I know Easter is this week. You won't get this in time for Easter. But, I mean, hey, the birds are just about to have their babies. We're going to be oh. seeing more and more eggs soon, right? This a pink one. I did not. I know there's a couple different makers that make it. I'm not sure who this one is. Let me take a look. See at this little bottom. I've never seen those in the wild. This is from my collection. I have a duplicate, so I'm letting you go. Mm. It says 3H3199 slash M as in Mary. I probably can look it up. Have not had a second to do that. Um, but I think Lefton made them and somebody else made them. But this is, uh, it's got like a rose motif on it. It's really pretty. I have an identical one, so I'm going to let this one go. But it does have some trims of gold. It looks like a cracked egg. It's beautiful, beautiful. It's footed, three feet. And the um, decoration goes all the way around. Oh, that's beautiful. It's really pretty. And again, you can do bows in here. You can cut all oh, like the little baby daffodils that are in bloom right now. They're so teeny tiny. It would be gorgeous in something like this. Oh, yeah. And then um, I know they can be wild, but uh, Lily of the Valley would be cute in here too. It would smell so sweet. Or give it away as Mother's Day gift. Yeah. That would be, oh man, that would be pretty. Birthday, a spring birthday. And May Day's coming May 1st. Mm hmm a little okay to someone you can put technically you can put like a bulb because if you go to like the grocery stores they do sell like the little like pots of like um bulbs oh like, yeah a little daffodil like a little hyacinth just anything sweet in here uh-huh that's a great one. idea yeah thanks before 14 dollars it is vintage i just saw the maker i didn't have time guys <laughs> Yeah, I would rather get a flower bulb and a vase like that as a gift than some, you know how people get fake, just get flowers and they die right away? Yeah. Well, I told my cool. husband, I said, quit getting me for my birthday cut flowers. I said, because I'm a spring birthday. I yeah. said, get me the bulbed ones and then you plant them and it's it's the gift that keeps on giving every yes, year. Yes, exactly. That's it if anyone's interested. That was my room. Mm, oh, that That's was it. fast. Yeah. Alrighty, let's see. What do I have next for you guys? Okay, so I have something a little bit different. This one is, and I don't, I didn't know how else to show it besides using my bunny butt. So, <laughs> so these are little cat hair ties. They're the lucky cat. Oh, um, maybe let me. I think I need to turn. I think my light is blowing everything out. Sorry, guys. Let me just turn that down a little bit. All right. So these are little cat hair ties. They're the lucky cats. One is in red and he's holding like a lucky cat sign. And there's a little ball on the end. And they're just elastic stretch ties. And these guys are a little plastic. And then there's a blue one. More like an aqua blue one at the top. 
And they're only $5 choice. So if you like the blue one or if you like the red one. Just put in those letter are, E. You don't see those anymore. The hair ties? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Because you know. The, yeah, the cute like charms. And we used to grow up with the those like ones that look like marbles. <laughs> yes, Bridget. I'm trying to look for those with Pop the balls. marbles. <laughs> Which I think I have to craft my own. Mm. So they, they have a little tie in the back. They're tied. So if anyone's oh. interested in these, you just put letter C in the chat. And if you'd like both of them, or if you like the blue one or the red one. Really cute. Yeah. All right. Those are the ones I have. Or if anyone's interested in the bunny, it's a flock bunny from Avon. Oh, it's from Avon. <laughs> Oh, darn it. Oh, darn it. <laughs> What's funny is one of my friends is texting me right now. Her mom was an Avon um, representative. Sadly, her mom passed away. Oh, no. She wanted me to come through. Um, she's doing private estate sales. But she's texting me right now. Speaking of Avon. Don't worry. The bunny survived. Avon stuff <laughs> does, survives. It does. It survives. It's strong, like the cologne. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, the next item I have, though, this one is a craft sign. This sign is handmade. It's made one of a kind from 2011. It's made by, I think, the person that owns it. It says, Doodle Bug Bell Buckle, Ten Texas, I think. Texas okay. or Tennessee. So it's a little craft store. And it's all hand carved. Isn't that cute? Look at It's like a Christmas scene. There's a little snowman in the window. It's adorable. It's like a boutique. Yeah, it's an actual boutique. Mm -hmm. I, know, I don't know if they closed down. I'm assuming they closed down. I don't know because I've never heard of this place. Or it could okay. still be around. Who knows? But... It's a really cute little sign, but I'm sure you could, if you wanted to, you could just put yeah. your own name or logo uh -huh. on there. <laughs> you could. Like Bonnie could say Bonnie Crafts up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if Bonnie's watching this. Caroline but, Crafts. Right? <laughs> uh, and I can't really read it because it's in pencil in the back, but it yeah. does say something in the back too. And there's a little eye hook at the top to hang it. I like the purple awning. I know. Can you believe someone actually carved this out of wood? Because if you look um, at it. And um, painted it. Oh, I see yeah. now. Yeah. See? Oh, wow. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. It's adorable. I can't believe someone actually took the time. I mean, this must have took forever. It would take me forever. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet. And I like crafting, so why not? bring a craft right, sign yeah all right and that's it for me and just to let you guys know because this is pre-recorded we will not do a recap because it, it'll be a little difficult to do a recap yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right back to bridget okay caroline you're gonna you're gonna be so proud of me why you brought a crack i sewed these what? You sold something. I sold something. That's why I've been so busy. What you sew? I want to see. I sewed bunnies. Oh, get out! Yes, I figured out the sewing machine. How sweet are those? I made five of them. Can you believe it? Oh, man. Look at the material you used. So, did you follow a pattern? I did. Oh, my gosh. This that's pattern. Cool. The pattern I I do oh. every April Fool's Day. April Fool's. Ah ha ha! You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you so silly? I've been wanting to make these, but I sourced these. You guys. She gets me every year. I well, swear. You know, that's the pattern. Every year. <laughs> we gotta clown around a little bit, right? I couldn't oh. let this April Fool's go. With, you know, this April first go without pulling your leg a little bit. <laughs> But these are going to be B5. They're $5 each. I did not make them. I do not get the credit. Somebody was very talented. So this is going to be um, the geranium. 
It's a black background with these gorgeous green leaves and um, like red geranium little blooms. It's got an adorable, <laughs> this little um, red bow. It is all sided. I thought these were so cute to get a choice and they're about this big. <laughs> so there's that one. Then the next one, I'm calling this one weave because it's got like a weave um, pattern on it. It's light green. Oh my gosh. It's that's gorgeous cute. aqua bow. Someone did good, right? <laughs> Ah. Those of you that know, know I had a, a hiccup with my niece's sewing machine. <laughs> we don't think it was working because I used to sew when I was little, little. I grew up with my mom sewing, but I was trying to make some of these things myself. So I gave up. I found somebody that made some and donated them. Look at this gorgeous. This is going to be the turquoise one. It's kind of like a polka dot, like kind of confetti looking one. And that's so pretty. Aren't they pretty? Now, Bridget, they're not weighted, are they? No, mm -mm. Oh, they're real okay. lightweight. These are lightweight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, did I jump around? Okay, that was her. I did jump around. This is we're calling this one polka for polka dot. Oh, cute! Uh, it's a light, like uh, it's a kind of a brighter light green, citron green with a pink. That's super cute. They're so cute. And then last but not least, this is the lattice one, and it's a real light green with a real light light um pink. Somebody did the work. <laughs> wow. So this will be lattice. I'm going backwards. This is going to be turquoise. This is going to be polka. <laughs> Do the polka. Yeah, maybe Marcy will be here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, then this is the weave. And then this is geranium. That's so cute. Yeah, they're cute. But I had to mess with you a little bit today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that's that round, just five dollars each. She gets me every year, yeah. every year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is kind of a fun one. Uh, I wish I had time to count them. I did not. This is gonna be B six. Keep in mind, it's a little weighty. It's gonna be a bag of marbles, and I did put my black light on them, and approximately at least half a dozen, about six glow. Wow, okay. really? Yeah. It, it, I literally combined two bags together, so. It's literally a big bag of marbles. Every which kind, big ones, little ones, all the, if you craft, if you collect this type of thing, I don't know the age of them. I'm not seeing like a lot of age in these. Sorry, they're so loud, but if you even do like mosaic stepping stones and things in your gardens, if you craft, they're just really fun. These would be really cute in a jar. I wouldn't want it like, um, I thought about putting them in a jar. I don't think I'd want to like ship this in a jar. You could probably find your own jar. Right. It's easier to just ship the bag. But uh, there's a couple of them that like grew, they had a really co cool glow. But I'll show you the, like one of my favorite ones. It was this big one had a really fun like glow to it. Oh, wow. Wow, so that's a big one. one. Yeah. So they're not like the real like um it's it's a different type of glow. It feels like it has some cadmium maybe in some of them. I'm not an expert, um, but there was some glow in it, just a few of them. It's kind of fun. A big giant bag. Just keep in mind it's a, it's a little weighty. <laughs> it didn't weigh it, it didn't count them, but you'll get all the Wow. They like picking up marbles and they they resell really good. Think of yeah. how many earrings someone could make or a bracelet oh, with that's those. True. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's my round. <laughs> what? Hey, uh, Bridget, are, are they all various sizes though? They are. Mm -hmm. Like tinier ones, bigger, like every, yeah, every size. And they're all different colors. Mm hmm. Wow. wow. They're gorgeous. Oh, you know, it'd be really cool if someone put them in a gumball, those fake gumball machines. Yeah, that That's would be really deal. pretty. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, was that your two already? Rumble, right? It would be fun like an Easter basket. But... Yes. Yeah. That's already your two? That's my two. Dang. Okay. <laughs> that is my yes. All right. So moving right along, if you guys are watching this in the replay and you liked anything or you're interested in anything, Please put a comment below to claim the item if it has not been claimed. But if it hasn't, 
or it has, it's okay. Just please reach out to us. Anything helps. All right. So the next item we have, I have some stickers. Okay. So here's some cute animal stickers. Mm. These are little doggies and little kitties. There's a mixture of them. Usually they're separate when you see stickers, but I thought these were fun. This is $3 a sheet. So this sheet is $3 and it has cute little doggies and kitties. The next one I really like, and you guys will see why. I do like rainbows. I love the color rainbows because I, I can never figure out which color I really, really, truly like in the next sheet. So if anyone's interested in that, you could just put dog, or, uh, just put dog for the stickers letter G. Yeah. The next one is even more fun. They're hippos. <laughs> they're cute hippos. Oh too. no, they're not hippos. I'm sorry, they're rhinoceros. Oh, they're rhinoceroses. They are. But look what the rhinoceros is doing, Bridget. <laughs> the it's rainbow. Pooping ra it's pooping a rainbow. <laughs> I had I had to bring it to this sale. <laughs> oh, I like the curvy. That's cute curve. Yeah, isn't it cute? There's cute little lovebirds in there too. Yeah, and well, because lovebirds always birds always sit on a hippo or a rhinoceros. Yeah, they take a ride, don't they? Yeah, they take a ride because they're grooming yeah. the rhinoceros or the hippo because they eat the bugs off of it. Yeah, oh, I see it at the bottom one. It's really cute, aren't they? I like the eyelashes. And the rhinoceros says, "Oh, the rhino says." We'll be friends forever. Forever, Bridget. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> really cute. Yeah, Good colors, too. This one says, um, oh, this one says, unicorn. I don't know. It's just something unicorn. I can't really read it, but something unicorn curves. Mm. So it celebrates your curves. And if does it, say, does it say this unicorn curves? I think so. Yeah. If Kraken was here, she'd be like, oh, that's fluffy. <laughs> Curvy flawless. And this one, this one has 43 stickers. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of stickers. So it's only $3. Yeah. If you're interested in that. Really fun. All right, and for my second one, I have some handmade cards. These were made. I think I don't. I don't know how old these are, but this is the actual gazebo in Texas. Oh, it's in Grapevine, Texas. I think it's a, a pencil drawing, mm -hmm. and I have four cards, and they're only two dollars each if you're interested in. And it's original. It looks like it's cross hash, cross. Hatched or stippled. I love that technique. Oh, do you really? Mm -hmm. I did that in art school. I never had the patience for stippled. Oh, contest actually too for one of them doing that technique back in the 1900s. And <laughs> inside is blank. Up there, it's, and it says the gazebo. Trophy Club, Texas. So if anyone's interested, these cards are $2 each. And it's really nice. It's on. It's done on very, really nice uh, cardstock, too. Mm -hmm. That's just letter H if you're interested. And I have four of them, if you would, are interested. Just put in letter H and how many you would like. All right. And that is my two, Bridget. That was so quick. All right. Back to you. Okay. So I picked up two bags of these beautiful fairies. Now, a bunch banner? of them are very... What's that, hon? Can you pull your banner back up? I thought I did. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that. Thank you. Um, most of them were Christmas. I'm going to keep them till Christmas in a live or a show or, you know, at some point. But I, I picked two because they kind of felt like maybe like fairy garden-like. Um, so I'm going to show you this, this, the um, small one first. There'll be two. Um, but they're just kind of fun, and I thought they were whimsical. 
So it's going to be B7. You're going to get a choice. This is going to be the $8 fairy because she's smaller, but she's real quirky. <laughs> she's bendable and she's got like a little hanger on there. I just thought she was really, they seem like they're made really well. Like all the bags, like I couldn't re resist them. They even had like some um, Three Kings men in there. They had some of like the animals um, from like the Christmas story kind of a thing. And a lot of them like were these periwinkles with snowflakes. So I'll be bringing them to a later sale, but I thought, look at this. She's like bendable. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I know a lot of people are really into like the fairies and like, oh, I'm, you know, again, I'm into all the, you know, the gardening vibes and that, but um, I'm going to tidy up her beautiful wings here. It's like a little bit of green and almost like a mauve. And she's just got the cutest little face, a little bit like a berry up here. I just thought she'd be really cute if someone collects this type of thing. The, the legs move too, but they were like really done. They're like, they're made. You could tell it's made like it's plastic. It's made like really well. It's almost like a Barbie doll. <laughs> this might be somebody vibes. I thought they'd be so cute. These being cute, like just hanging, just hanging from something like a tree or something. Oh, she kind of dips over when she hangs too. Uh, so this is a small one. She's about this big. And then this one's larger. And I, this is why I said we're going to clown around today. So her hair is really like <laughs> wild. She's beautiful. She's like a doll. Look at her profile. Look at her. Look at her wings. She's made really, really well. And this is just gorgeous. This rich like material. Look at she's got little stars on Star Girl. Wow. I thought she it's was mean. I got two bags of these. It's made think, so well. They're made. This has actually got weight to it. It's made really well. I did. I was not able to find a hit on these, you guys. When you like um, Google search angels, you you won't believe how many hits you get. I wish I had a tag or something. I'm seeing nothing. Mm, Bridget, those might be handmade. I don't know, but this is why I laugh because when I came home from the greenhouse, this is how I looked. <laughs> <laughs> this is how my hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh like literally God. from the humidity and all the things it rained on today and all the things but anyway you can kind of tidy that up you know you can do it you know you pull it back or something so I just the, so good. What, what's the face made out of you it's think? like a hard plastic oh. i just thought it was so good and now her hair's a little cray cray <laughs> but you can work on that you know Oh, yeah. A piece of ribbon in it. I just thought it was kind of fun. Somebody's going to collect this and put it in the Christmas tree or something. But wait till you see all the Christmas ones I picked up. I was so glad to get them. They were made so, so well. Have you hung you that on the table? Table? Yeah. Because I remember I used to go to, like, these boutiques up north. And they used to sell this stuff. And it was, like, ridiculously priced. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're good. They're good. I think it's, like, um, made really well. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. but i felt like it felt like moss like her legs i just felt like it felt gardening so i wanted to bring like a couple like almost like fairy um garden fairies oh. so this is eight dollars small if you're interested this is large b7 okay then i'm jumping around you know um spring reminds me of like babies being born baby birds baby bunnies all the lamb sheep all the things it's springtime Okay, so this is a uh, kitschy vintage handmade baby quilt. And I'm going to show you each of the squares, okay? This is done so good. This is going to be B840 because this is all hand done. So here's going to be our first square. This is going to be our deer. Look at this one. <laughs> Doesn't it feel so springy? Wow. This is the other square. I don't want to miss any either. I'm going to jump to the center because there's a lot to show you with me sitting down. This is the center square. This gorgeous bunny. Oh, pretty. And it's a light minty green with this white. And it's like quilted. like It has stitching in the back. So then I'm going to jump to the next center one. The next center animal is going to be this um, baby elephant. <laughs> So stinking cute. And then we're going to jump back up here a little bit. 
This one is a bear. A little bear. And then this one, look at this kitschy cat. <laughs> look how gorgeous. This kitty. It's kind of like a, he looks like an angry kitty, though, doesn't he? <laughs> and then when we get to the bottom, we have a little dog. Little puppy. Oh, cute. And then uh, I, I absolutely love all things lamb and sheep. Look at this sweet little lamb. But if you look, there's like, um, it's like quilted, like someone went through the machine, but this is all hand done. This is all like stitched. That's all hand done. It is wow. in pristine condition. So if you got a, a new baby in the family, someone that, you know, just loves this kind of thing. I mean, just look at this chick. <laughs> it's so good. So the back is solid. It's a, a it's like a minty green. But do you see like do you see the pattern here where it looks almost like a flower? Yes. That work. You know that would look really nice over a headboard or a sofa or at the end of the bed. You could wow. use either side. I don't even know if I'd want to use it. I would hang it like on the wall and like somehow like almost like a quilt rack. <gasps> oh yeah, like a, like a nursery. That would be gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'll just kind of go back to the beginning a little bit. I'll try and show you as much because it's hard with me sitting to show you it all. But look. Wow. Look at the details. Gorgeous. Oh, so good. And I just felt it felt very springy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's E840. It's um, 54 inches high the length. And then um, 37 inches wide. Yeah. So it would fit like a, like um, a baby crib like mattress would be about about the size of it. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a perfect yeah. size. <laughs> Even as a lap blanket, that would be really nice. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Take yeah. a great shower gift, unique shower gift. Yes, yes. For your kitschy friend. <laughs> All right. So the last two items that I have. Uh, for my round are, I have these bird clips. These are like, um, kind of like picture holders. Mm -hmm. So this one's a little bird. It's more like a, uh, not silvery, but kind of bronzy. It's really shiny, but it's a dull silver. And then there, you can put a little picture in there or a postcard. Looks like that. It's a little bird. And this is only $4 choice. Or you could get the letter S. So here's a silver one. It's in excellent condition. This is a silver one. You could put a little picture in there, a little sticker. Great for is that a sticker right there? Huh? Is that a sticker in there now? Yeah, this I is like a sticker. That sticker. That's cute. It'd be great for graduation gift or, you know, someone's desk or if they want to put a note. I usually keep these like on my kitchen counter to remind me of what I'm, what I have to do if I yeah, have to do something. Idea. Yeah. Or I use them sometimes when um, I need to, when I'm selling, reselling on here, mm -hmm. you know, it holds jewelry clip. Uh, it's like a jewelry clip mm -hmm. to hold your brooches and such. So if you're interested in the letter S or the bird, just put in letter I. And if you would like the bird or if you would like the letter S or if you like both, just let me know. I love the bird. I love the sticker. I know this one's cute. This reminds me of you and your sweet tea. Oh, yes. With the bunny. It's, I didn't realize it's a little teacup. Yeah, it's a little it's teacup really and weird. a little bunny. Do you have more of those? The slot? No, I think I just have one. Mm. But if anyone's interested in those, let me know. Letter I. And that they're four dollars each. And then the last item I have for the show, and just to let you guys know, we won't do a recap because this is a pre-recorded, but we appreciate all you guys are be that yeah, thank you so much. Here. And don't forget to thumbs up because that really helps out the channel. Mm -hmm. And this is I think this is actually the first time I've ever had midweek. I think it might week. be. <laughs> so it might be. All right. 
So, the next item I have, this is an ombre scarf. It's brand new. So, it's green. And it's by New York and Company. It's new with tags. Mm, good brand. And I don't... Do they even have a New York and Company by you, Bridget? I, I mean, it used to be like in the Carsons, I think. Yeah, but I don't, haven't seen... I don't see that much anymore. They closed out over by us. See mm. how ombre... So, ombre means where it goes from lighter to darker. And then here's the little fringe at the bottom. Oh, it's beautiful. So even if you don't use this as a scarf, um, you could use it as a table runner because it's a beautiful mm -hmm. color too. And it's only $8 if you're interested. And it's brand new. I've never used it. Really pretty. I like to have these when I travel. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're one of the best things to have when you're traveling. That's or just you know, Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. And that was my last item. That's you it. Have two more, right, Bridget? Two more, yes. Okay. All right, so this is a fun little one. This is going to be B9. These are going to be $5 each. Again, I cannot take credit for this. I went to a craft show. Oh, we got the quilts in the way. And um, I met some crafters. I love to support small businesses and, you know, like young, especially young people that are doing it because <laughs> that are, you know, uh, doing these shows. I used to do the shows. I used to do bridal shows when I was a photographer, all the things. I don't really set up as a vendor anymore, but I just love that people bring out their goods. So this is, I have one for me and I bought one for whoever wants it. Um, but this is going to be a choice. I have a whole round of like carrots coming up and I know Easter, this won't get to you in Easter by Easter, but you can put it away for next year and it's still springtime. <laughs> it's still the season, right? It's just starting. So this is going to be our felt. This is our felted um, choice. $5. There's a gorgeous aqua one. Look at that. It's all stitched. A gorgeous oh, orange one. There's, look at that. Look at the little leaf in there. A That's little a bundle. Good idea. Creamy. Look at that. The work was already done. Oh, did they make them as ornaments too, Bridget? They were just a, a pile of these. So I picked this up from one of the vendors. Oh. Okay. And then I have one in my guest bedroom by a rabbit that I put in there, a velveteen rabbit, because it has that, like, my guest bedroom is like the Tiffany blue. Uh-huh. That was so sweet. So this is one of your options. Look at, but the work was already done. Look at these. It, this one's made out of buttons. $5. I have one for me and I picked up one for you. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's buttons? Buttons, yep. How smart is that? So good. Yeah. I've seen these on Pinterest. I always want to make them and I just haven't. And I'm like, oh, there you go. It's already done. <laughs> so good. And if they're all different color oranges based on what buttons they use. Different, like longer ones, shorter ones. It's so good. So this will be buttons, your choice, $5. You know, you could do trees like that too. Yeah? Christmas trees? Oh, oh yeah. I think I've seen that. Mm-hmm um this is the wood wooden bead one look at just little beads <laughs> they're orange it's a carrot look at that rick rack look at that gorgeous like black oh, and white hair. that's fun it's good right you put this with your displays <laughs> that's a good idea yeah, with this one too we have a choice this is the wooden one it'll be just five dollars whichever choice you make these are i thought you know we've been doing like the add-ons I thought it felt like I can add these on at the end of our sale here. You can yes, just your packages exactly. it's real easy to throw in. So you just make your choice. And then uh, last but not least, it's on my lap. Okay, this is going to be um, $10. This is modern. And this is a gorgeous carrot garland. <laughs> Look at all the different materials. We have like aquas and lavender. We have like an orange and white polka dot. We have so like this, fun. like a gingham check. We have this striped one. <laughs> we have this uh, little flowery, looks kind of cottage core one. A couple of those. It starts to repeat itself. I have it folded in half. And then it's got like this jute. You just hang this on a mantle above a door. I know it's kind of like Easter's around the corner, um, but I'm still in the Easter mood because it's not here yet. I'm not done. I'm not done yeah. with Easter and carrots and all the bunnies and the things. We're just getting started over here. But isn't that fun? But you could add to it. You could. Yeah. And you could, like, I mean, let's, for instance, okay, 
let's just demonstrate here for a moment. Like technically, like you can add all these on there. <gasps> That's a great idea. You know? Yeah, with a little clothing yeah. pin. Yeah. How cute would that be? Yeah. Oh, that was kind of fun. But this is this isn't homemade. This is like, yep, you know, I got it from somewhere. I don't know where. I buy new product. I usually will buy one for myself. I'll throw I love these things for the booth. These sell so good. You hang it on the door there. I used to have a mantle there and the mantle sold. These sell I, I homemade garlands. When I went to market, I got the most beautiful ribbons and material. I just I, I love to just sit and make wreaths and um garlands. I'm on my downtime, but oh wow. This is like raffia, just green raffia. But it's B10, $10 carrot garland. That's my last item of the day. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let me just switch my camera around. Thank you guys all for being here. Make sure you guys thumbs up. We really appreciate all you guys being here too. Yeah. Let's see. Let's pull both of us back up here. Thanks for doing this with me, Caroline. Yeah. So we, no to get it done. we wanted the show to go on. We do this for all of our people that yes, do tune yes. in. You know, we're not one of the big YouTube channels. It's fine. You don't have to be big. Uh, to me, it's not about uh, quality of mm -hmm. relationships and follows and likes. It's about the quantity of people that we get to hang out with. And uh, yeah. I'm very, I feel very blessed to be here. And it's fun to chat with you guys too in the mm -hmm. chat. Um, we don't have to focus all on selling and watching the chat at the same time. We yes. can talk, sit back and chat with you guys too as well. So we appreciate that. And we appreciate you guys letting us get to know you and letting us, welcoming us into your home and stuff like that too. And we well. definitely um, appreciate uh, your support for a small business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We really do appreciate it. Every small purchase mean, means the world to me. I'm grateful yeah. every day. <laughs> yes. And we love gift wrapping too. Bridget and I have an obsession oh, with gift wrapping. <laughs> it's fun. The toppers and all the things. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys should know that because when you guys get our packages, we wrap everything. So. We put a lot of love into those packages, but I, yeah. lo I love it. Yes, it's really fun. That's what we get joy out of, too. So, we do, we do. all right. Thank you guys so much for coming. Make sure you guys thumbs up. And um, just, re just a reminder, next week, well, we're going to be taking the week off. And mm -hmm. wish Bridget a happy birthday, too. Thank you. <laughs> and happy Easter to all you guys. Happy we hope Easter. You have a safe and fun, yummy Easter, mm -hmm. too, as well. I'll be thinking of all you guys <laughs> for Easter. When you're eating. <laughs> yeah, so when you guys are all eating, please please take pictures and share with me on Instagram. I will love it. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't like seeing food? <laughs> so, oh, yes. Right? All mm -hmm. right. We'll see you guys later. I'm going to play the outro and hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank Bye. you guys for coming. Don't forget to join me after this. Um, I will be on Leanne's. Yeah. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.